Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen and first of all, if you like me to watch this, to react to it, let me know, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know and yeah, so what I know about this is not much I would say. I've seen the first trailer that was shown, like, I don't know how long ago because this is like from um, 2020 I think, 2020, 2021 I think, so it's been a while, um, but I feel like I don't know much about like what's going on if because I just know some of the characters, like I know Gojo with the white hair, I think, and the blindfold, I think that's Gojo, and then I know nothing else really. Like I don't know any other names, no. And the only other thing I really saw was the girl with the hammer and the nails. If that is the description, I don't know if this, there's only this one girl, but the one with the brown hair that you see a lot, I would say. Um, I've seen a picture of her with some weird markings on her body or something. Um, but yeah, otherwise I just saw some snippets, some few seconds, but nothing really happened in those that I've seen over the years or year, whatever. So I would say I don't know anything really about this anime. I just know that it's basically these people. I don't know if it's an organization or some random people. Um, and they basically kill demon shit, I think, or something. Um, so yeah. But yeah. I would say, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. Ohayo. Yeah, I think that's Gojo, right? Which one are you right now? When he says, which one are you, does he maybe have, like, different personalities or something? Man, that must be a hassle. <laughs> so, he's doing fine. Okay, thanks for the <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Cursed object. I guess it's a shrine, but for him it's a cursed object. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Did I see it right? Look again. <laughs> Was that Gojo on the phone? Maybe? Oh, did they grab it? To make some rituals? Oh, he? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is such a common theme in the Japanese schools. Hey, you don't have any real, any, any real activities in your club? Well, you have to... You have to stop doing those club activities if you have nothing to do here. It's haunted. So we are doing stuff here. We do a cool stuff here, so you can't close us. <laughs> Is that enough? Takes? Nasty little buggers. He's a problem. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's beat him. <laughs> This anime so far is more upbeat than I thought it would be. But I guess that will change, right? Yeah, ticks. Definitely some ticks. Great 2 curse. So it's curses, not demons or some shit? Wait, can he see it or can he just feel it? I'm confused. Or is he talking about that thing? Or is that monster connected to that object? Or is this how he gets maybe scouted? 
that the one guy sees him and is like, dude, he has potential. Here we go, let's go. <笑>あ、<笑><笑><笑><笑> This is some funny shit. Curse energy. Zenon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is so funny so far. I love it. It's so... It's weird. It's crazy. He's like this... He's like this typical shonen protagonist, right? That is like... Probably not doing well in school. It's kind of chaotic, right? But it's like super... Prodigy like right? It's like super agile, super strong, super fast and all that stuff and stuff while being more like the funny guy, not the serious guy, right? <laughs> the typical shonen character. <clears throat> and he's like this super duty dutiful guy. It has like probably like a rough private life, right? With his grandpa in the hospital and all that stuff. I would imagine they are probably dead, so he has only his grandpa, which is like the typical shonen guy. <sighs> and now comes something snappy? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe not. Did he die now? No. What is it? Oh my god. I really thought that there would maybe be some like really meaningful stuff, right? That he says. You know, and then suddenly comes some something snappy. Um maybe, but okay. He just died after telling him that, man, that's dang. And now I guess he's all alone, right? Like, no parents, I would assume. Grandpa is dead. Grandma probably also gone. Very surprised right now how it turns out so far. <laughs> I mean, you don't experience that stuff like that very often, right? What is the cursed object he has? Okay, that thing. He has that? Oh, that's why he took it because of the occult stuff. <laughs> He's so laid back. Literally. I guess that makes much sense. Oh. <clears throat> so they get used at the beginning to protect and then they get weaker and then they lure them. Lingering in the box, okay. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, is he going there and then maybe the curse gets into him and that's why he has those weird shit going on? Is it going inside his body or something? And that's why they, why Gojo said, "Is it you? I'm who is it? Who am I talking to?" Because they don't know if it's him or the curse that is maybe in him. Uh, 
I wouldn't say so. More like a demon finger. <laughs> okay. So the more the more curse energy is absorbed, the, the weaker becomes the steel because it lures all the demons too, right? Very interesting. Oh, uh, I guess he's fucked up. It's on. It's eating his head. Oh, oh the animation goes. Oh, he. Oh no, I thought he transformed into a, into a wolf or some shit. I don't think so. Remember what your grandpa told you. Save as many as you can. But I think he didn't say save as many as you can. He said like, even if it's just one person or something. <clears throat> he is like grabbing the booba. Or the OST. And he's, dude, isn't this like the second or third floor or some shit? <laughs> Dang. Dude, he's a beast. Saved them both in like one go. Respect where respect is due, right? <laughs> He's so calm about it. Does it taste good? Now that you said that someone would eat it? It's not over yet. Don't tell me you died. Okay, no. Ooh. Interesting. So if you get too much damage, your summons or whatever get, like, removed. Oh, maybe you have to be concentrated. <laughs> what did he say about curse? Wait, only a curse can exercise curses? I want to get that straight. So are they... Curses too that they can fight curses? Oh he is eating it! Is he eating it? That's his mindset. <laughs> Of course, it comes true. Oh. oh boy! He needs a nail clipper. Okay, he fights against it. Oh my god! 
人間じゃないは呪術規定に基づき虎杖勇士お前を呪いとして払う What an interesting episode. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you want me to react to it further, then leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know um, so that I know if I should continue it or not. Um, but yeah, very interesting. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, it's like I said in the episode, it's so far, I would say, typical shonen tropes, right? You have like the main character who is like, very happy, upbeat, laid back, very like prodigy like, like super athletic, strong, fast, is dutiful, right? Wants to protect people, has like a rough or like a tough private life. Like it seems like his parents are probably gone or dead uh, one way or another. Um, his grandpa just died. The grandma's prob probably also gone. So he has. I guess no one else left really, um, but it's still like super upbeat and not like a douche or anything. So typical shonen main character, I would say, right? And now he gets like this power, and which I think is interesting because um, I am bad with names again. The black hair guy here with the wolves, um, I forgot his name. He said like it's a one in a million chance that. He gets that he, I mean, he said he would die, right? But in a one in a million chance, I thought he meant maybe like maybe in a one in a million chance he can like take control of it and survive and, right, get the power maybe. But it seems like he meant like in a one in a million chance it can happen that he gets like possessed and basically reawakens this um, curse, I guess you would call it, not demon, it's a curse, I would guess, from what it sounds like in this episode. Um, and then the curse awakens again and that would be really bad, because it's, I guess it's a very dangerous curse. Um, and I mean that basically happened, but then our boy, a Itaori, something like that, uh, can suppress him surprisingly. It's so interesting, I guess. I guess that's not normal. Um, but our other boy with the black hair just wants to exercise him, basically, which is very interesting. I thought they would just fight demons and kill demons, but it's interesting that it's like exorc uh, exorcism, basically, and curses. And it's interesting how everything works that it's like you have on these special places where a lot of like bad emotions basically is like uh grief uh depression maybe and other bad emotions where that there, there's a lot of it you have like these objects that are sealed to like um protect that place right from curses and de i want to say demons but like from curses right but over the time the curses like i would say, i would guess you could say like infected and by doing so, it just gets weaker and weaker and weaker to the point where eventually the seal that is on it is, like, completely useless or weak that even, like, normal people can just remove it because it's so weakened. And then it also starts to lure more curses to that place instead of, like, protecting it from curses, which is very interesting as a concept, I would say. And... So, yeah. <clears throat> it also makes no sense what Gojo meant at the beginning when, when he said, who am I talking to? Because he wasn't sure if he was talking to, uh, what's it called? Raymond? 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 Or something? Um, if he was talking to the curse that possessed our boy, or if he was talking to our boy, <laughs> right? Um, but, I mean, obviously... I mean, you don't have to know the series or anything. We know that he will survive. I mean, we saw him just in the intro, right? <laughs> Would not make no sense to introduce the main character and suddenly he is dead in the next episode or so. So I know, I mean, we know he will not be killed. He will survive and I guess he will control the power, control the curse and do good with it and fight other curses, right? 
um, to protect people and do what his grandpa basically told him before he died. Um, so yeah, I would say so far, very interesting. Definitely somewhat different than I thought it would be. I didn't thought it would be so upbeat and happy at the beginning at least. Um, but I guess this will change, right? <laughs> That's only the first episode and now we get plunged into more curses, more badass stuff happening and all this stuff, more characters that do that badass stuff. And it will be interesting to see how it turns out, like how often maybe our main character gets like um, taken over by the curse and how often he has maybe to suppress it because I think there will be something like it, right? That he has not full control over it, that the curse maybe will take over sometimes. Um, and yeah will be interesting, I would say. So, yeah, I think I will definitely watch the next few episodes. Probably, like, maybe two, three more. Uh, one or two more, I guess, that I'm, like, at episode three or so. And, like I said, if you want to see my reactions for it, let me know. You can like, subscribe, or tell me in the comments. Uh, so that I can see if there's interest and otherwise I just watch it for myself maybe if there is no interest right because this is a long series and reacting to it and everything takes it takes some time and I'm already like reacting to like eight animes of this season plus Attack on Titan uh, and I plan on doing now summertime rendering so that would be with Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen would be ten episodes uh, ten uh, anime that I watched at one point. It's a lot of work, I would say. Um, so let me know if there's interest, then I will definitely continue it, I guess. And yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment, like I said. And thanks for watching, and I would say till next time. Bye-bye.